Well, what's up, guys? Coach Gaglione here. We're going to do a little bit of a West Side inspired dynamic effort workout. We're going to do some speed work and then work up a little bit if I feel good. We're going to do some speed squats, some speed deads. I'm going to show you how I'm setting up bands at home. Uh, we're going to start off with a warm up and then we're going to kind of get into doing some box squats and then some deadlifts. So, kind of making do in the garage gym. I want to show you guys just some ideas of what I'm doing uh, using my in home setup and hopefully give you some ideas. So, we're going to start off. Uh, doing some warm-ups with the hip circle and some bands. So we're going to put the hip circle around the knees. Uh, excuse me, just above the knees. So this is a good way to get the hips going, get some blood in there. And I will adjust the camera so you guys can see. So I'm doing this seated. You don't have to do this seated. I want to drive my knees out, so I'm going to do some higher reps here. So I'm working on external rotation with abduction. I can do this with my feet planted, or I can do this with my feet floating. This would mimic more of a machine you might see at the gym. And then I could also just do some, some squats here. So I'm kind of driving the knees out, screwing my feet in the ground. And then kind of going from there. So I'm going to grab the band now. One of the things that's important uh, to do is also not just warm up your lower body before a squat session, but also warm up your upper body. So it's really important we get the shoulders kind of prepped so we can get under the bar if you're using a straight bar. So I'm going, this is called a band over and back. I'm taking my scapula with full range of motion. So right now my scapula is fully depressed. Now it's fully elevated. If I want to get a little bit more tension with the band, I can grab it a little bit closer. You can also do some pull aparts just to stretch the chest a little bit. And I could do some behind the neck pull downs. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to probably leave my uh, music off for a bit. So you guys can put your questions in the chat box as well. If you guys have any experience with setting up going live on YouTube, that'd be also helpful because uh, I was having some issues with that. I think they changed some things. All right, so now we're going to grab a thicker band. So I'm going to warm up my quads. I'm going to warm up my quads a bit, so I'm doing some TKEs. So I'm setting this up about knee height. So this is a really good exercise to get blood in the quads. So I'm going to probably do like three rounds of this with the hip circle and with the bands. So if you got some knee problems, getting, I'm trying to flex, pull my kneecaps up, extend the knee, get some blood in the quads. Now I want to do some band good mornings. So I could do these Zercher style. Or I could do these traditionally with the band around my back. So that's a good way to set up, step on the band. Stretching the hamstrings, flexing the hip, and then extending the hip. I'm going to use a heavier band for that. 
So I'm going to do two more rounds of that with the hip circle and with the bands. So again, I can do these seated or floating. So I'm working on abducting. I want to try to get my knees out to where my ankles are. I can do longer holds. This is going to be really important for equipped or knee wrap lifters that need to drive out on the material. I can do these floating as well. You'll find that this is a little bit more of an, an abduction bias movement when you bring your feet up. If you keep your feet planted, it's a little bit more of a rotational movement. I can also do some squats here. We call this RNT, it's feeding, the band is feeding into the compensation, putting your knees in a valgus position. So I need to reflexively come out of it. So it teaches you to root your feet a little bit better and spread the floor. And now I'm starting to get some, I'm starting to get some um, blood in my hips. I'm going to go back to my terminal knee extension. So I'm trying to pull my kneecaps up and back, flexing the quads. Now I'm going to go back into my good mornings. And then we'll do one more round of this. Again, I like to put the band on my back first and then step into it. That way it's a little easier. I can do these wide or close. I can adjust my stance out and go a little wider if I'd like. So I'm trying to hinge at the hip, keep the spine neutral, flex the hip, extend the hip. I like to think of my hips like a pendulum on a clock. So my hips shoot back, come forward, swing back, swing forward. So we're going to do one more round. And then we're going to get to work. So we're going to do the hip circle one more time. Feel free to drop any questions in the box. So again, I'm driving my knees out. Some squats. A little wider, make the hips work a little harder. All right, one more round. So that's with the Mark Bell slingshot hip circle. This is a regular tension. This is good for warm up. We're gonna do two more movements with the bands, and then we're gonna get going with the workout. So these are the terminal knee extensions once again. I'm trying to pull my kneecaps up and back. Flexing my quad. So knees extend, knees flex, knees extend. Knees flex, knees extend. Pulling my kneecaps up and back. Flexing the quads. 
You can almost do like a leg press if you want to add some squats in. Great quad exercise, especially if you don't have access to a leg extension machine during this time. And now we're going to go through some good mornings once again. Putting the band on the back, stepping on the band. You do these wide or close. Hips like pendulum on a clock. They swing back. And they swing forward. At this point, we're going to get into the actual workout. So I want to go over some box squat technique. Really important. Good analogy is the cloud technique. This is uh, popularized by strength coach Joe Ken, Big House Power. You want to sit into the cloud but not go through the cloud. So you want to keep tension on the box. You don't want to just relax and plop on it. Another analogy from Joe DeFranco is you want to have half your weight register on the scale if the scale was on the box. So keep tension on the box. Try to get your knees out to where your ankles are. Knees tracking the feet, rooting your feet in the ground. Nice and tight, bending the bar with the upper back. So we're going to start warming up for the squat. And as uh, I get more warmed up, start to add in a belt. Right now I have knee sleeves on. I have my metal squat shoes, flat shoe. The box squat's going to be a little bit more posterior to chain dominant. So I'm going to focus on sitting back a little bit more than a normal squat. So we're going to get started. And periodically I'll kind of just rest and give you guys some cues as well. And we're going to get rolling. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're going to do some box squats today. I'm going to get my tunes going. Doing some sets of two here. Staying tight on the box. Keep in tension. Warm it up, baby. Let's go. Now, tightening down the weights. So get rolling the knee sleeves up. We're working, baby. Let's go. Speed, baby. Let's go. Shoot. 
trying to get the bands perpendicular to the ground. All right, we're gonna keep warming up. We're gonna add some 45s now. Do like one or two sets here as we're warming up. The name of the game is form and force production. Got my A7 bar grip shirt on. Gonna brace into the belt. I'm gonna leave a little room here so I can push into it. I like to wear the belt a little bit lower when I squat and then I push my diaphragm down and in. Come on. Feeling good, baby. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Getting some squats in this morning. Move it on up. Gonna do a little twist on the squats. We're going to do five sets. We're going to do five sets of three. We're going to do these little twists, Thompson style. We're going to do some kettlebell swings in between. So let's check it out. Come on. Let's go.
Little twist, little twist. We're gonna hip snap. Little walkout cue from JP Price. Step, 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 step. Trying to clean up my walkouts. I haven't walked out in a while. Come on. Squat high and wide today, baby. Come on. Step, step, boom, boom. Ooh, two down. Moving. We're going to do three, three more at this weight. West side. Come on. Whew. Form and force production today. Let's go. Come on. Super send the Thompson swings in between. Come on, two more. Two more sets. Let's go. Remember, step, step. Come on. Step, step. Feeling good, feeling good. All right, Thompson swings.
One more to go. Feeling good. Let's try a less thirsty angle, if we will. All right, for last, uh, I believe last one here. If anyone's keeping track, let me know. It's supposed to be five. Five sets of three. Come on. Let's work. Step, step. All right, we're gonna work up a little bit now. We're gonna work up a little bit. Start doing doubles now. Feeling good, feeling good. Yes, sir. Getting it in. All right, we're going to start doing sets of two now. Sets of two. Working up a little bit. We're moving. Come on. There it is. So far, so good. Feeling good today, feeling good.
the bands are the bands are really forcing me to control my walkout. The bands are also making it lighter in the bottom, heavier at the top. We call that accommodating resistance. As you get mechanically stronger, the bands provide more and more tension. It teaches you to accelerate through the weight so you don't just cruise through the top. Very important, not just to be strong, but also to be fast. I want to work up, maybe do two more workup sets and we're going to start pulling. After dynamic work, sometimes we work up a little bit just to get some extra volume and uh, intensity. Feel some heavier weights on the back. All right, still doing doubles here. You're going to have to really pay attention to the walkout as the weight gets heavier. Let's go. There it is. two more. Then we'll start pulling. One or two more doubles. Still keeping the belt loose. If you guys have any questions, type in the chat box. For sure, brother. Keep at it. Circumstances change, goals remain the same. Let's go. Come on. One more, probably just a single, and then we'll shut it down. Feeling good. Filling up that bar, brother.
How's everyone doing? Throwing up that bar. Come on. We are working, brother. We're working. Working, baby. Come on. You could be the hammer or you could be the nail. Come on. One more. One more, and then we're going to move on to squat, uh, speed pulls. Moving. Come on. Strong walkout. Whoo! There it is. Easy peasy. All right, time for some pulls now. That was fun. Worked up to 465 and somewhere between 70 to 90 pounds of band tension for a nice double. That felt good. We're going to deload this sucker now. Take the bands off. That was fun. Whew, how's everyone doing this morning? Feel free to post some questions in the chat box. We're gonna work up to do some pulls now. And we're gonna do some kettlebell swings in between as well, which will be fun. The speed pulls will probably just do doubles or singles. We'll see how I feel. Since I got no chalk, I might use some straps. We'll see. Go strapless as long as I can. Gonna rewarm up a little bit, make some bigger jumps, and once I get to Three plates, slow the jumps down a little bit. We're going to use a single band here. Taking the bands off. So this is the lead FTF, oh, so sorry, the jump stretch. Uh, light band, probably 70 to 90 pounds of tension or so, depending on your height. I'm a little shorter, so I'm probably being generous, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. So bands are off. We're getting to pulls very soon. And we're going to do some kettlebell swings in between. I might adjust my stance, I might do some sumo, some conventional, we'll see. We'll see how the band tension feels. Alright, so this could be dynamic deads. I'm still going to control the eccentric, but I'm going to really focus on having a deliberate start. And then kind of going from there. We're going to adjust the camera angle for you all, so you get a better view. So we're going to switch you guys over. 
Do a little switcheroo. It's going to put you guys here. Going to go back to our original spot. Let me know if that camera angle is good for you guys. Excellent. So we're going to do some kettlebell swings and some deadlifts. bench back over here so we're really kind of conserving a lot of space but we're still getting a lot of benefit all right so we're gonna do some deadlifts now probably use some straps as a as grip becomes a factor again I'm not training for powerlifting right now so I'm okay with using some straps from time to time all right the next piece we need we're going to use a single band for this, single band for the deadlift. And maybe, uh, let me know if this angle is better or not. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know if you can really see the weights, but let's try that. Still learning this, guy, so bear with me. Got a floating head right now. Let's just do that a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're going to start doing some deadlifts now. We're going to use a single band. We're going to, we kind of want to make sure the band is kind of together and even on both sides. And we're going to do these again, Thompson style. So we're going to do these with some kettlebell swings in between. Probably do doubles here. So I'm going to stand on the band, take my grip. And then I'm going to set myself up, pull the slack out, explode through. Just like that. As I get more fatigued, probably add the straps in. I'm going to roll the knee sleeves down. Give myself a little shinny shin shin protection, as they say, or as I say. All right, so we're gonna go up to two plates. A little spoiled, no deadlift jack, but we'll make do. Go two plates, three plates, and then we'll do a little smaller jumps. Probably start the working sets at three plates. Just getting a feel for the movement again. What's nice about these bumpers, they're a little bit taller, so I can kind of slide them down pretty easily. I slide them on pretty easily, I should say. Okay. Probably start to add straps in after this set, just to save my hands a little bit. So again, we're gonna step on the band. Make sure the band and the barbell is over my midfoot. We're going to get our lats locked in. So I'm trying to twist the bar, just like with the squat, I was trying to twist the bar, bend the bar to engage my lat. Now for the deadlift, I'm going to twist the bar. And I'm rooting my feet in both. So I'm rooting my feet, breathing and bracing, twisting the bar, twisting the bar. Same thing, locking in the lats. So again, I'm going to pull that slack out and drop. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do five singles, probably try to do these without any straps, and I'll add some straps for the workup sets. Because I got baby Italian sausage fingers for hands. So this is going to be the working sets, and I'm going to do some kettlebell swings in between. We're going to do these hard style, as they say. That's something that they actually say. So we're going to have 325 on the bar. We're going to do five singles, and then we'll work up a little bit. I'm going to add the belt in, nice and loose to start. I'm going to use a, a strongman belt for now. Be right back.
So this is a good option that strongmen use a lot if you don't want to, for speed work, if you don't want something super aggressive. Um, so this is really good to keep your lower back warm. I also have my kind of spandex on right now, giving you guys a little bit of a show, but we're all friends here, right? So I'm going to get this pretty tight. Because again, this is a very flexible and loose belt. So again, I'm going to crank this here. And then I have these other straps. So this is a strongman belt. So if you ever doing like Atlas stones and farmers carries, or maybe even just CrossFit, you just want some support, uh, but you don't want to have like the loss of mobility. This can be a really great tool for you. So and there's a second strap that goes here. So you can even wear this and just have some, and it's going to help you cue the, the brace. So I'm still compressing down and then shoving out. So this is a good tool and it's not going to impede your mobility at all. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do five singles here and then I'm going to do some kettlebell swings in between. Again, I'm keeping the barbell over the midfoot and then also, um, and then just keeping the band over my midfoot as well. So let's get it started. So we're going to do some speed pulls, five singles, some kettlebell swings in between, and then we're going to move on to some workup sets. That'll be the workout for today. Pull the slack out, air. Hike, pass it back. Again, deliberate start. I can pass and snap the hips, get the hips like a pendulum on a clock, forward and back. Just like with the good morning, just a little faster. Hike pass, snap. We're moving, we're moving. Stance is better than that one. Hike pass, snap. Hike pass, snap. Two more. Let's go.
One more. One more than work up, Sess. Breathing. Feeling that lock up position and then getting in. Pulling myself in position. Ooh, last set of kettlebell swings. High pass snap. High pass snap. Okay, now we're going to work up a bit. So I'm going to put the belt on. Make a couple of jumps here. I usually put the belt a little higher for the pulls. We get a couple of workup sets, probably like two more. I'll continue to do doubles for as long as I can. Do two more, it's feeling good. A little hard to set up the straps with the bands there, but we're working through it. Quarter five next. Two more sets.
One thing to consider when you're at home, if your floor is not even, you're going to have to let it roll to where, where it wants to roll. That's going to be important. Yeah, it's, uh, as long as you program it correctly, this is a good raw conjugate for sure. All right, we're going to do two more sets and we're going to close out. Whew. We also got a podcast with Matt Wenning coming up, so be on the lookout with that. All right, we'll do another double here. One more. One more set to go. Then we'll just finish with a little extra hip work and be done. Okay. All right, last set. Whew. If you guys have questions while you're going, let me know. We're going to finish up to the last, final set of the day. Do a dynamic workout. Yeah, about an hour length, so finish up. Whew. Last one. Alright, gang, that's all she wrote, so we're going to go over the workout now. And then I'm going to do a little walking outside, a little cardio, sun is shining, feeling good. Whew, okay. So let's review the workout in its entirety. Nice job, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking some time out of your day. So let's review a little bit. Okay, so... We did, Whew. okay, so what we did first, we did a little warm up, almost like kind of a winning style warm up, kind of doing some assistance work first. We did hip circle, either abduction and or external rotation. We did some, some air squats with the hip circle. Then I did some sit squats and terminal knee extensions. So that was for the quads, so with my hips, my quads, and then I did some good mornings with the band, so hip hinging with the band with various stances to kind of warm up my hamstrings and lower back. From there, we did five sets of three. We used a strong band, and we, I mean me. I used a, uh, a light band from, a, from jump stretch, about 70 to 90 pounds of tension at the top, give or, give or take. I did uh, my speed work, I did at uh, 285, and then I worked up to uh, 465 for a double on the box squat, it's about 
parallel for me. After that, then we did, and then I did uh, kettlebell swings in between. I did uh, um, kettlebell swings with a close stance, two kettlebell swings with the arms out. And then uh, my workup sets, I did not do the kettlebell swings. That's a Thompson style, Donnie Thompson technique on speed day to kind of work that hip snap. From there, uh, then we did, um, then I did, excuse me, I did a, uh, used one strong, uh, one light band, again, about 70 to 90 pounds of tension or so. Um, with a stiff bar conventional deadlift, I did the speed work. I did five singles at 325, and I did hard style kettlebell swings in between uh, eight reps or so. Did eight reps on the other kettlebell swings as well. Again, to work the hip snap, work the power. And then after that, I worked up to uh, 405 for a single. So I did uh, 355, 385, and then a 405, uh, excuse me, for a double. And I added straps in because I'm using the stiff bar and don't have chalk. So. That was the workout for today. I'm going to go for a long, uh, low-intensity walk today. Um, if you guys like more kind of workouts like this, uh, comment below. I'm going to share the link. I'm going to definitely share this on YouTube as well. If you found it helpful, let me know. And if you have any questions, we'll also do live Q&As every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you guys want to get some more support. And if you guys need anything, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me during this time. I want to give you guys a lot of support. And... Um, we still have online coaching available, so if you need a nutrition consult, a one-time consult, a program, or ongoing month-to-month -month coaching, uh, check out the links in my bio, or you can shoot me a DM or a private message directly. If you guys found this uh, helpful, you could. there's a couple of ways you could help us out. You could refer, review, or repost. If you found content helpful, repost it or share it with a friend. You could also just share our page with a friend, spread the message of, of strength, refer us to another, someone who needs could use our help, tag them in one of the posts. You could also give us a five-star review on iTunes for Powerlifting for the People, Google, or Facebook. Five-star review helps other people find us. So you, can, you could refer, review, or repost. Those are all, uh, they don't, there's no monetary uh, amount to that. You could, that would really help us out a ton. So refer, review, repost if you found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for listening. Really appreciate the support. And until next time, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.